So ever since we finally got the reveal of Halo Infinite's gameplay, fans have felt so underwhelmed on what Microsoft have shown us, and that was all because of Halo Infinite's bad graphics on how everything looked like clay, missing textures and horrible lighting. It looked flat. It, it never brought the game to life. It really didn't show Halo Infinite's, you know, pushing the graphics to its limits on its newer engine known as the Slith Space Engine. And I don't blame the fans, you know, feeling frustrated about that. You know, myself too, I was also disappointed how the game looked graphically. I went through the gameplay footage a few times and yeah, it's supposed to look like a next-gen game, which it didn't. But when I saw the gameplay, I thought it was really great. Uh, in some ways, uh, the uh, the game felt a lot like Halo Combat Evolved, which brought back the old feeling of when uh, Master Chief comes at the crash life pod from Halo C on the second mission. And that's something that Halo fans are not really talking about, it's the gameplay. And that's what you want to see mainly, right? Like every Halo Infinite video I see on YouTube is literally about the graphics. 80% of the time, but what about its gameplay? Again, I understand you guys are not impressed about the graphics and you guys have the right way to you know, feel that way. But what are your thoughts on Halo Infinite's gameplay? That's the important thing everyone should look at. What you guys need to remember, you can have a game that has amazing graphics, but with terrible gameplay. If you look at a game called, you know, Rise of Rome, you know, it has awesome looking graphics, but gameplay, it wasn't interesting. I remember this game in 2013, I was blown away by its graphics, you know, but the gameplay never grew on me, and many others felt the same way. Microsoft did say the gameplay demo we saw is a very much early build, which means the graphics will be improved, you know, at launch. Uh, and that's a relief, so we shouldn't feel uh, skeptical about the graphics, they will look stunning at launch. Uh, and I also believe Halo Infinite will be a darn good Halo game. I have faith, uh, I think that 343 have learned a lot since Halo 5. Because the game that 343 are creating, we never actually experienced this kind of Halo game before, an open world Halo game. When Bungie were making Halo CE, and I'm not talking about the Halo C version from 2001, I'm talking about the Halo C version from 1999. Apparently Bungie wanted to make Halo CE a, a open world type of game and they almost did. They've added stuff like, you know, wildlife creatures as you can see in the video here I'm playing. But all of this was scrapped off sadly. I think it's because the technology back in the day wasn't too advanced. So they couldn't really execute it very well uh, and they got rid of everything. So we got the Halo C version we have now. But in this generation we are in, it's possible. 3 are basically making something that Bungie couldn't pull off in 1999. It's making an explorable open world Halo game. 343's aim goal is to give Halo fans a classic Halo combat mode feeling, but in a much larger scale, filled with detail. And they also want to target the newer audience, you know, the younger audience I should say. When you guys played Halo CE in 2001 for the very first time, you probably, you know, were very young. I was 6, you know, when I played Halo CE in 2001. Did you guys get that unique feeling when stepping out the life pod and seeing the ring world for the very first time? And you see those beautiful mountains uh, you were you felt so overwhelmed you know and you wish you could go there and explore what's behind those mountains halo c you know blew us away in 2001 the game felt so mysterious you felt the immersion in the game and that's what 343 are tr really trying to do in halo infinite but in a much uh, bigger scope so the youngsters who will play halo infinite for the very first time they will probably feel blown away more compared on how we felt in 2001 when we first time played halo ce and for the older audience, you know, for the older fans, you know, who have been playing Halo since 2001, we also have the same feeling. So it's going to be nostalgic for the older players. 343 mentioned that there won't be a sequel Halo game after Halo Infinite. So we're not going to see, you know, Halo Infinite 2 or Halo 7, anything like that. Because they want to use Halo Infinite as the main platform to build off for the next 10 years. So it's kind of like Destiny. Not quite sure how that works. Never really played Destiny. Uh, but, but I think it's a great idea what 343 are trying to do um, which means we will receive tons of great updates maybe have a, a new DLC campaign um, new weapons new vehicles you know which will be great to have and hopefully these can be free updates um, however I, I don't mind paying for the campaign DLC I, I understand you know, 343 will charge us you know money for that uh, but if we're gonna get vehicle DLC pack you know new weapons um, Please make that as a free update 343. So about the graphics, let's not even worry about them. Microsoft and 343 heard our voices, so we will have stunning graphics uh, before launch. You know, since there won't be a secret Halo game, you know, 343 can still, you know, improve the graphics, uh, you know, more, you know, because they will do a lot of stuff with the Halo Infinite. And I can imagine them improving in the graphics and, you know, the visuals over time. Um, I've seen so many people, you know, were talking about how the previous Halo games has better graphics than Halo Infinite. Well, if I did a comparison here of the Warthog, Halo Infinite doesn't even look that half bad, at least in, in some areas in, in the game. 
It's not perfect, but also not bad. And this is a early build we are comparing here. However, if we look at this comparison between Johnson and the pilot, it blows Halo 3 out of the water. Johnson doesn't even have nostrils, while the pilot does. And Halo 3 is my favorite Halo game, just so you, just so you guys know. And by no means I'm saying Halo Infinite graphics should stay like this. Absolutely not. 343, you know, need to update the graphics and the visuals. You and I both know, 343 knows, and Microsoft knows, Halo Infinite can look so much beautiful than it is right now. Again, the, cap the comparison here of the Master Chief, he looks amazing in Halo Infinite. I don't know how to describe it. Every time I see my boy Master Chief, he gets better and better. And this is in Game Engine, by the way. Seeing Master Chief in this cutscene feels like as if I'm watching Halo 3 Anniversary trailer. Uh, so what we, what we see here are actually the next-gen graphics. In this part, at least, uh, what it seems, uh, 350 did more work on the Master Chief and the pilot by making them more detailed, bringing them to life. Now, if they did the same thing with the whole game in general, like the map design, the weapons, the enemies, the fallen structures, so on and so forth, we can then say this is next gen officially. So don't be too concerned about Halo Infinite's graphics, 343 will improve them before release. At the end of the day, gameplay comes first and then graphics. Graphics are just a bonus thing to have, so we should look at the gameplay more. And I am impressed on how, how Halo Infinite's gameplay turned out. Though there are some parts I didn't like, like the new NC weapon design on how they looked, you know, generic, which I'm not really a big fan of, and the size system, which I didn't like also. But these are something that I can deal with. But good thing we didn't see in the demo, the play was using thrusters, spot on charge, and ground pound, and no aim downsides. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't see none of that, uh, so thank God for that. I've seen uh, some people have been complaining about Sprint making a return. Uh, to be honest, at first I never wanted Sprint in Halo Infinite, but since uh, the game will be open world, uh, we would kind of need it. I mean, who on earth wants to walk around the map in a open world game? Uh, I just hope Sprint is in multiplayer, but if it is, at least have it a mythical arena playlist like what Halo 5 had, or where it was just classic, or just keep it, or just keep Sprint in custom games. Everybody will be happy about that. Um, don't have a matchmaking. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be so happy with that. I just don't see, you know, 343 releasing Halo Infinite in, in its current state that it's in right now, especially the amount of backlash it had due to, you know, bad graphics and visuals. People were not overwhelmed, and Microsoft and 343 knows this. You know, like they can't be this stupid. Like, there's no way Halo Infinite will look like this at launch. I, I just don't believe it. You know, absolutely not. Neither should you. Um, 343 have worked on this for five years, and it's Microsoft's most expensive project ever made apparently. The gameplay demo we saw, we hardly saw anything, that was basically a 5 minutes gameplay demo. Yeah sure it might be 8 minutes long, uh, but if you take out the cutscenes, we actually got 5 minutes of gameplay. So there's a lot of you know exciting things we still have to look forward to, like the new Forge system, multiplayer, the story, you know, and the characters like Cortana, you know, the Arbiter, uh, we still haven't heard of you know from them and not seen them, you know, and the Flood, we might see the Flood in game, since it's confirmed that the ring is on Zeta Halo. Uh, so yeah, there's a, uh, still a lot of things that Tuesday has to show, uh, so don't feel too disheartened by what we saw guys, not yet at least, so don't lose hope. Anyways, I think I said enough in this video, what do you guys think of Halo Infinite, are you guys still hyped up for the game, or have you lost a lot of hope after watching the gameplay reveal? Or still, or still confident on how the game would turn out, uh, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are new here to the channel, be sure to subscribe uh, and hit the notification bell. And be sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm always going to be streaming Halo on Twitch, like almost every day. And I'll see you spawns in the next video. Bye.